Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some ARK Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on the Toast District server, and I am super excited. Um, our base is pretty large, and we've built up a lot of stuff, and we have a lot of creatures, but most of those creatures are tamed creatures. And so I thought what we would do today, guys, is do a little bit of creature hatching. Um, yeah, so I do actually have, where is it? Here we go. I do have this fertilized Giga Egg. Um, yeah, it was given to me by, I believe his name is Deferfsky, uh, from the Frontiersman tribe on this server. It was a very generous gift. I'm super excited to hatch this one up and um, raise a baby Giga in here. So I've turned off all the turrets in this area. Go ahead and drop the egg. It has about a minute 40 left, so um, not too much further before this egg gets hatched up. And now we also have some eggs in here. Now I won't be hatching all of these because we have quite a few, but I will be hatching each one of these Iguanodon eggs, of which we have 11. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I've stocked up on meat and I do have a cuddle bear, so hopefully Hopefully this Giga gets raised up um, pretty quickly and without too much trouble here. It's a little bit too far away from these units, it looks like. There we go. All right, I gotta keep an eye on that health. Giga eggs are so sensitive. Even, even with all of these AC units, um, it might just not be enough for it unless it's literally on top of them. So hopefully we don't get a heat wave or a cold front or anything like that while we're trying to hatch this guy up. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and grab one of these Iguanodon eggs, uh, and we will start doing those. Now, I don't think I'll keep all of the baby Iguanodons. What I'm hoping to do here is get myself a mutated Iguanodon. So, um, I do have an Iguanodon on the server that I really love to use named Waffles, and he is imprinted, and he is great, but uh, he's not mutated in any way. So, I've been breeding him with some other... Iguanodons, as have my tribe mates, um, and yeah, they've generously allowed me to use some of the eggs that they've generated as well so that we can do some hatching here today. All right, this Giga Egg is just about to go. I'm super excited. And by the way, guys, if you did not hear already, there are some major changes coming up in the next update to, um, to Arc Mobile. Um, for one thing, Soothing Bomb uh, is going to be a little bit different. So apparently, apparently you'll still be able to get this uh, 10x Soothing Bomb from like all the regular sources, but they're adding two new sources of Soothing Bomb, like uh, different at different rates basically. So you'll be able to get like a slightly lesser rate if you don't need a full 10x, and you'll be able to get a stronger rate if you want to say tame a Griffin. All right. There we go, baby Giga, claimed, and now fed. Perfect. Oh my goodness, I am so excited, and that is an insanely good melee off the bat, 230%. Um, it's not the highest level on the server, obviously, but I'm still very excited to have a Giga at all. All right, let's get out here, and I do apologize, my voice is um, struggling a little bit, it sounds like, but... That's all right. Um, so I want to bring this baby outside if possible. If he ever turns around, come here. He, he might not follow me out here. Um, or he'll get himself stuck in a corner. That can happen too. Ugh, I do love the AI of the babies. It's not great. <laughs> Especially the gigas. They're so big. But I had to hatch him in here with all the AC units. And now he's just giving me all sorts of trouble. Um, all right, well, this is going to be tricky, but at least he is fed and he does have that uh, cuddle bear on him, so he should be okay. He, she, is it a male or a female? It's a male. Okay, cool. Um, that's actually pretty great, but I do need to figure out how to get him to uh, move where I want him to move. Let me see if I can lure him over here by wandering all the way down here. He's, he's walking. He's trying. He's stuck on the gate now, and that's a little bit better. All right. Now, sometimes I just want these doors to open the other way. He's too big. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn his following distance a little bit lower here. 
I'm going to keep a sharp eye on that meat. Uh, I definitely do not want him... Definitely do not want him getting, um, getting stuck anywhere, uh, without food. That would be bad. Alright, there we go. Now Baby Giga can come here. Maybe. No, his turn radius is so terrible he went the other way. Maybe? No, you're totally stuck. This is the worst. Come here. Goodness. Alright. Well, I'm super struggling with this, apparently. Um, Giga's turn radius is so bad that it's actually, like, almost impossible to, uh, to get him out of the gate, especially when it opens inwards instead of outwards, which is, like, I never have figured out how to make that change. I wish I had. There we go. No, no, no. Don't get me stuck. Okay. Just don't get me stuck. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and put him on, uh, medium follow distance again so he's not stuck on top of me. There we go. Alright, perfect. Now we've got him going. I'm super excited. He now has, um, a little bit more food there, so he should be okay a little bit. Oh, man. I'm really excited about having another Giga on this server because, um... Yeah, we're going to need them. Uh, we're definitely geared up for PvP at any point at this time, so I think having a Giga around the base is going to be super useful. And he's just a really good-looking Giga. He's like got that dark red back with kind of the green sides, which is kind of unusual. And yeah, I super like him. So I'm going to go ahead and leave him here. I'll be super careful to keep feeding him. And in the meantime, let's go hatch up some Iguanodons as well. All right. Um, hopefully this one turns out all right. All right, they have a few minutes left. Now, I kind of want to hatch these up one at a time, but these guys do have, like, three-minute timers on them, so um, it might be a little bit of time here. So what I might do is go put a little bit more meat on the Giga while these incubate, and um, I'll bring you guys back in a second here, especially since we are getting some serious lag here. Uh, with all of the structures and eggs in the area. So, yep, I will see you guys in like three minutes when we hatch up that first egg. All right, guys, so we are back, and this first iguanodon is just about to hatch up here, and the other ones are now incubated down a little bit, so those will go a little bit quicker. Oh, man, I am so, so excited about this. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of iguanodon breeding on pretty much any server so far, so I'm really hoping we get a mutation today. We did get twins. Um, that's pretty cool. It does not look like either one of them are mutated, unfortunately. Can I claim the other one, please? Claim? There we go. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, so it doesn't look like they're mutated. Um, they look pretty much just like their, uh, just like their dad, who is Waffles. Um, yeah, it's, that's a little unfortunate, but they're still very cute and very cool, and so I think I'll go ahead and take them off wandering, and, um, yeah, they can go hang out with the Giga outside while we hatch up the next set of eggs. It is a little hard to target the correct one. Did I turn off that side? There we go. That was the problem. Okay. Iguanodons are very, uh... Twins especially, it's hard to target the right thing on mobile sometimes. Like, uh, I do wish there was a way to say that whatever is in the center of the screen, that is exactly what we are looking at. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit tricky sometimes. The I do struggle a lot, actually. I don't know if anyone else has this problem with the highlights. Um, they don't always give you what you want to highlight. Like, sometimes you'll be looking at a thing and it's trying to highlight something that's, like, behind you. It's really strange. Um, kind of frustrating, but, uh, it is what it is, I guess. And I suppose we can live with it. Alright. We'll go ahead and let those guys sit out here and we will drop the next egg here. And... What was that? Oh, the armor stands on sale. That's not too bad. They're kind of cool. And 15 amber is pretty cheap, so, meh. Alright. I'm, like, obsessively checking the Giga. I want to make sure he has plenty of food at all times. I'm really, really nervous about, um, 
about this Giga not having enough food at some point. That would be the worst possible situation because I really want this Giga to grow up um, and be one of the main Gigas around the base. He's pretty awesome. All right, this one, lower level and also also not mutated it looks like so hmm. yep okay let's bring him out here with the other ones it's not happening come on you can do it avoid the gate no he went the wrong way all right <laughs> that's the worst i i really don't like the way that the gates um <laughs> the gates open on this it's actually like super frustrating can we no, he's going to go completely the wrong way. Alright, well, I'll fuss with him in a second. I'll go ahead and drop another egg here so we are ready for this next one. And then maybe we can get this guy out. Come here. Tiny baby iguanodon. They are so, so cute, though. Please let me get a mutation. I would really, really love a mutation. Alright, you got to come a little further. Man, my yard is going to be full of babies, and it's actually, it's actually really good. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, let's see. About 15 seconds left on this one. All right. Um, that's not too bad. Please be mutated. I really would love to get, like, a bright blue color mutation on an iguanodon. I think that would be amazing. I would also be really happy with, like, a red one. No, we're like getting worse levels every time I hatch one. Um, this one is a female though, so that is something, but it's definitely not mutated. These all look exactly the same in terms of um, color. And because the level is so low, even if there is a stat mutation, I would not see it. Mostly I want a color mutation um, at the moment. I'm mostly just looking for that color mutation. I may or may not get one. I'm kind of hoping that I do, but I definitely don't have enough eggs to um, essentially guarantee that we'll see a mutation today. So either way, I think we'll still see some cute baby iguanodons, and hopefully, um, hopefully you guys enjoy that as much as I do. The star of the show is this little Giga here. All right, take the rest of this. I'm going to have to get more for him. And we'll drop another egg. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so um, <laughs> what's also really cool is that Wardrum has been teasing this update um, for quite some time now. And I think this update is going to drop either late this week or um, sometime next week, guys. The one with the soothing bomb and what I suspect will be the Sarko TLC. I think that's coming really, really soon. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope you guys are as well because I want to test out all of the new features that they're adding. They're also adding in um, distinct dot colors. Oh, it's blue. We're keeping this one. This is probably not a mutation because this is a natural blue, but um, I'm keeping this iguanodon no matter what because it's blue and it's a female and it's actually a pretty good level here. So um, I want it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This one's too beautiful to let go. All right, so yeah, um, as I was saying, this this new update that's coming out, um, it, it comes with some pretty big changes to how the game is actually going to be played with, uh, with respect to Soothing Bomb. Um, they've teased a couple of other things that are going to come out in it, including, um, including, uh, oh my gosh, what else have they teased? Right, something to do with the Equus, that's right. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what that means, but they have definitely teased that there will be some sort of, um, special, special thing that you'll need an Equus to use. Now, I'm really curious as to what that is. Um, I have no idea at the moment what that might be, and I'm kind of excited to find out. We'll definitely be doing an episode on that, whatever it is, when it comes out. All right, I'm going to give the Giga a little more meat while that one hatches gotta keep him eating and I do apologize for the lag here today guys this base is particularly huge um, and so it does cause some issues with lag here especially when you combine it with an iguanodon tail it's just not good here we go perfect so yeah I'm really excited about this blue baby that is 
that is going to be one that I definitely use for sure. And almost, there we go. All right, another blue one. It's a lower level. It's a lower level. Um, looks like it's a lighter blue, actually. It, I know it's the same color, but it actually looks different at the moment. So, yeah, interesting. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, turn Wandering off on this guy, take him out as well. And then we're on to the rest of the Iguanodon eggs that are still in the fridge. So... Um, I do have some super fertilized ones that we're going to use as well, so I'm really excited about those. These ones have all just been regular fertilized eggs. They're, um, they're not particularly special. There were no pheromones used on them. They're just uh, really good iguanodons being bred up to have really cute babies. I love this one. This 440. This level makes me happy. The color makes me happy. I just, I really like that iguanodon. All right. I somehow got myself shut in here with it, so that's good. All right, so we have, I believe all of these, yes, all of the rest of these except the first one are super fertilized. And I believe most of them have um, just like a little bit further to go. It is getting dark out here. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little dark out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on bright night for you guys just so that we can still see. And I will be hatching in this room still so that we can continue to see because we do have the lights in here, which makes it a little bit better. All right. So we have a couple minutes left on that guy. I believe each one of these has a, a little over a minute as well. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these and let them incubate up for a minute. And I will bring you guys back um, just to make sure that we don't lose anything due to a crash from all this lag. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second here. All right, so we're back. Um, this is the last Iguanodon egg that is not super fertilized, so keeping my fingers crossed for a mutation here, although it is more likely with the super fertilized eggs. Either way, um, still very, very cool. Uh, I'm really happy that I have all of these Iguanodon babies. All right, we did get twins. Um, again, pretty, pretty low levels overall, but... Um, not too bad, like they're still really cute, <laughs> which is all that I really care about at the moment. Um, I'll care more when I use them for caving later on, but uh, yeah, they're they're super adorable. I love having all of these Iguanodon babies around. Makes me happy. Okay, come on guys, let's get out of here. And then we'll start in on these super fertilized eggs, which um, are gonna be even better, I think, so. That'll be, that'll be really good. I might actually bring these guys over this way a little bit, just because they're kind of in the way. There we go. That should be good, just so, just so that I can get around them. All right, let's hatch up the next one. Now, these don't actually need to be, um, these don't actually need to be near the ACs. It's just kind of super bright in here, so we can actually see them a little better. Uh, which I think is the most important thing. So, yeah, here's hoping. I really, really hope we get a mutation out of these last five eggs. If we don't, I might legitimately um, cry a little bit because, yeah, that's uh, it's not a ton of eggs, but um, I, I like almost never get mutations, so I'm really hoping I do get one. All right, well, this one's a 440, and it is that blue color, so I do love that. Um, Hopefully it's a male. It is a male. Perfect. All right. That means that we now have a full-on breeding pair of baby blue iguanodons, which is kind of cool. So even if I don't get a mutation today, um, I can do more hatching later on with these blue ones that I have here, the level 440s, because I do have this female, and then I have now a male, which is um, definitely good news, actually. I'm really excited about that. All right, so you're gonna stay there and you're gonna eat more berries and grow up big and strong. Okay, did I already, no. Uh, I do wish that the wandering was not enabled right away as babies. It makes it actually really difficult to, uh, to do any kind of hatching with a lot of these creatures all at once. But um, yeah, it is just one of those funky arc mechanics that has been in the PC game for years. And I feel like people just never 
even think about it anymore because it's so, uh, so old hat to them. All right. One more. Come on. Give me like a bright color. I would love to see like a bright red. That would be really fun. Ooh. All right. It's full on orange. Um, again, pretty sure this is not a mutation. I'm like 90% sure this isn't a mutation, but it is a nice bright orange. It's actually kind of cute. Um, and that is the first orange iguanodon we've had, even if the level's not necessarily that great. So I might give it some berries, let it grow up. Let it grow up and be a friend, even though it's levels like meh. Okay, come here. Eventually, eventually it will come out here. My gosh, we have so many babies in this area. And I'm getting stuck on Giga Tails. That's good. That Giga is going to be massive very soon. I will really have to work on uh, keeping him out of the way. All right, here we go. All right, so we have three more eggs. Really hoping for a bright color. Really, really hoping for a bright color. I might just hatch all of them at once now since um, the video has been going on for quite some time. So I've dropped all three. Hopefully one of them is mutated. And if not, well, then that's sad for me. But um, yeah, they'll all hatch up kind of at once here. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It'll be a little bit interesting. I hope we don't get too much lag. That's my biggest concern in this area. Um, because the more eggs I have around, the more laggy this area gets. So it's actually better to have just like one. All right, so you're blue, but you're 418. I can't see that one, but I think it's green. Yeah, they're both blue and green. Okay, dang it. So I was really, really hoping we would get, um, get a cool mutation, but that is okay. I just don't have the luck with the mutations, I think. Um, it's not something that I've, I've really ever managed to get too many of on, on ARC, so it does make me kind of sad here on mobile that I don't get those, but um, yeah, it's still pretty great that we have all of these baby iguanodons. I'm super happy with them. I'll go through and pick out which ones I actually want to raise all the way up. Um, either way, yeah, this is super awesome. I love having all of these babies. There's so, so many of them. And, of course, we have our giant Giga Baby as well, which is going to be um, a bit of a challenge to raise, but a little bit less so with that bear. And, yeah, should be, should be pretty good overall. All right, so mostly green and blue, and we do have one orange um, Iguanodon as well, which is, that's pretty cool. I am satisfied with that. We have a whole herd. <laughs> it might be too many. This might be too many Iguanodons. I... Maybe not. I don't know if I can actually say that as someone who um, loves iguanodons as much as I do, but this is a lot of iguanodons in a very small space, and yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming. So <laughs> we'll see how well this goes as I continue to try to raise these guys. But um, yeah, guys, I do actually think that that is going to do it for today's episode. So. If you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana. <laughs>